Grade 3 math number 125, cubes and three dimensions. For the last several videos, I have had these silly things here on the side of my board, a picture of a Rubik's Cube, some dice that are cubes, and a glass with ice cubes in them. And that's because I was building up to this. We talked about three dimension and two dimension in a previous video. Two dimension is flat. It has no height to it. It's got a width and a length, but it's got no height. See, this 3D cube has height. See, it's casting a shadow. It's sticking out from the side of my board. See how you can see all the sides of it? So that's three dimensions. A chair or a table is three dimensions. A piece of paper is two dimensions. It's flat. So the parts of it are You've got a base on top and a base on the bottom. There's a base up here and a base down here. And then each one of these sides are called a face. That's the face, that's the face, that's the face. And then I took some tape and glued the back face onto my dry erase board there. Hopefully I didn't ruin the board. So the base is the top and the bottom. There's two of them top and bottom, and the face is the sides. There's four of them. You got one, two, three, and then the fourth one is the part that's stuck to the board, okay? So, each cube has a length, a width, and a height, where the two dimension just has a length and a width. So this cube is three feet high, it's two feet wide, and four feet long. See? So with this 2D paper, we could say it's two inches this way or two inches that way, so it's a four-inch square piece of paper. But this, we would have to multiply the length times the width times the, times the height to get the area of this. So if we broke up some cubes, sort of like the Rubik's Cube, into stacks of square units, can you figure out how there's 18 cubes here? Because I see 9. There's 9 orange cubes here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Because this one is the same one. See, that's the corner of one of them. So I can see 14 cubes. So how could there be 18? Well, you know that there's 9 cubes right here. Can you see the 9 cubes? If there's 9 cubes up here, what's holding them up? There's got to be cubes underneath, an exact layer underneath, holding them up. So there's two layers of 9. You just can't see them all. And 9 and 9 is 18. All right, so let's look at this one. There's a bunch of these little cu cubes, and they're stacked up right here, okay? There are 12. There are two layers of 6. Can you see how? Here's a cube, and here's one holding it up. Here's another cube, and another one holding it up. Here's another one and another one holding it up, and here, and here, and here, and here. Here's one in the back corner. That's 11. So how can there be 12? Well, there's got to be one holding this one up that's back underneath here. So there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 cubes. So just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not there. All right? So those, that's our little introduction to cubes and 3D measurements, and remember that the two-dimensional flat ones have a length and a width, but a cube has a length, a width, and a height. And to find the area of a cube, you multiply the length times the width times the height. It's L times W times H. And you should be able to get the area for a cube. And we're not going to go too much into that. That's why I'm not explaining it, because we're getting into fourth grade math now by doing that. I just wanted to give you a little introduction of what cubes are in 3D, because we talked about 2D and 3D before. I'll see you next video. You're doing great. I am so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Bye.